It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Tennessee Titans and the Buffalo Bills. And it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 24. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. And today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis with you from our broadcast perch. And Charles, as we get this thing started, what are you going to be keeping your eye on? Special teams. Field position is always a big determiner in a ball game. Who sets their offense up for success the best? That team will win the game. Let's ride, dog. And we are underway in Buffalo. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Well, the Buffalo offense coming out, and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm. And in this league, there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball, while there are others who have big arms. There aren't too many guys who can do both. And at the end of many games, this guy leads his team not just in passing, but in rushing as well. Allen looking to throw it right at the outset. And his first pass is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Got a man, that's Trent Sherfield. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 12 yards that time, and a Bills first down. On play action, Allen. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's Allen to throw it. And his throw is incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Now a second and 10. They run for the first time with James Cook. Nice and strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 12 yards that time and a Bills first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Here's Allen on first and 10. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. That 
that sure looked like a nice call by the defense and it very cohesive in their coverage. As soon as he cut inside, they broke on the football and met him as the ball got there and forced the incompletion. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Throwing is Allen on third. That one behind his receiver and incomplete. Fourth down now as the Titans' defense holds up in coverage. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Pass on for the field goal. A 36-yard attempt. The kick by Bass is good. And the Bills' opening drive yields three. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. And leading him out, a motivated rookie out of Kentucky. Fell to the early portion of the second round of the draft. So it's Will Levis. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. Excellent effort defensively. Tackle for loss goes to Leonard Floyd. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working from the gun, here's Levis. For that wide, it is incomplete. Ty Zentner to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. A well hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt. Three on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and ten. To throw it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end Knox. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right of the yard. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. And from the 41, this is second and a yard. Allen off the play fake. 
Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll take this to the 46. He'll get four yards of the carry there, and we will get to the end of the first quarter of play. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. Here's Cook again. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Look at this! Middle of the field, a breakaway! James Cook, and the Bills had six to their lead. A pretty well-executed run. They were telling us yesterday, Charles, they were hoping to get everybody in sync, the line, the backs, and everybody looked in sync on that play. They were in sync, and the field tilted, and that's where we get the term running downhill because when you've got that kind of momentum and everyone's doing it properly, as you just described, it does feel like they are coming from downhill to you as a defender, and that is really hard to stop. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead grows to 10 nothing. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Back to throw, it's Levis. That'll be complete to Okonkwo. A big play that time for the Titans. 42 yards. And this is how you answer a touchdown at the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing, but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Levis sets up to throw here. Over the middle, he has a conquer. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. A first down carry for Henry. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Second and ten. Here's Levis. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. No 
multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. I don't care if you're taking it in round one, you're undrafted, whatever. As a rookie quarterback in this league, you're going to have games where you face adversity like this. Lessons. All the time you're going to face these lessons. The key for this guy is, will he be able to bounce back in the next one? Because right now, this has not been his game. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, and it's fourth down. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And that is no good. And they will not cut into that 10-point lead. Yeah, this place has notoriously never been kind of visiting field goal kickers. You get those wins that really whip through the inner bowl, not to mention the urban legends about stadium workers opening and closing the tunnel doors. But for whatever reason, this one winds up off target. James Cook running back out now. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here, take it in by Knox. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now Allen throwing on second down. This to the tight end, Kincaid. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A completion, yes, but certainly not what they wanted. A loss of a full six yards. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. Allen now looks to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. The kick by Bass is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. Touchback this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Yeah. 
So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw some strong work from James Cook in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Titans going to get the ball to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. First and ten, it's Levis. Throw to the right, caught by Akakwo. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. They got half of what he needed there, two yards. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and 10. Levis back to throw. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now Levis. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, finding his way into the backfield. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. On second down, here's Henry. And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Five yards gets him back near the original line of scrimmage as he'll be left with a third and long. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Levis to throw it. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. A gain of 22. But look what we have here. A sustained drive, and that was certainly a wall in the first half. They really struggled to try and move the football. But right now, they certainly seem to have the formula working. Let's see if they can keep it up. It's 
Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. Henry up the middle. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Levis now off of play action. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Chigakakwo. A 22-yard touchdown ground. And the Titans are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. On the return, Deontay Hardy. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Throwing on first down is Allen. Left side caught by Diggs. And they get him down before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, just, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Now try and wind down some clock with Cook. And they'll get this well past midfield before they stop just before the 35. 85 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And they'll get him down right around the 16. 
Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Back to throw. Allen. And he is caught. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. Take a knee. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll run the counter with Murray. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw, out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair, low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help it. I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. Well, some field goals are bigger than others, and that one makes this a two-score game. And with the way their defense has played all game long, that's kind of a love letter to them because that might very well be all the points they need. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And that final kickoff concludes the ball game, partner. And one side, a really nice win in this one. They were good on offense and on defense. And I'm guessing in the other locker room, partner, the head coach is just telling this team, hey, we didn't play well enough to keep it close enough where that one possession down the stretch might have given us an opportunity to win the game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports.